Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're at Ikea and we're gonna learn about different animals. Let's talk about these animals. This is a shark. And this is a whale. They're different. How are they different? Well, the shark is a fish and the whale is a mammal. How do you know the difference between a fish and a mammal? Well, the mammal has a blowhole. They breathe air through their blowhole. That's a mammal. This is a whale. Pronunciation, use a long A like say and pay, whale. This is a whale. And this is a shark. And it's a fish, it's not a mammal. How do you know? Because it has these. This is how they breathe. Pronunciation, use the short it like this is, gills. Sharks have gills and fish have gills. That's how they breathe underwater, see? Gills. This is a shark. And you know the famous movie about sharks? It's called Jaws. But you don't have jaws, you have one jaw. This is your jaw. The medical word for it is mandible. This is my mandible, or I can say this is my jaw. And that's why they call the movie Jaws, because sharks have big jaws. Kevin, how do you pronounce jaw? Jaw. It has a W, so we pronounce it with the sound aw, like saw and law. Jaw. I have one jaw. Other vocabulary we can talk about, about fish and whales, they have these. These are called fins. Fin, 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 and this is the tail fin. Fin, you see the short is sound like this is, fin. This is a shark fin. Are there sharks in the Pacific Ocean? Oh yeah, there are a lot of sharks in the Pacific Ocean. Be careful swimming. Do they attack people? They eat people. Oh no. Our next animal is the octopus. This is an octopus. And the octopus doesn't have legs or arms. These are called tentacles. An octopus has tentacles. How many tentacles does an octopus have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight! An octopus has eight tentacles. They're not arms, they're not legs, they're tentacles. And an octopus has the mouth here. This one doesn't have one, but usually they have a mouth here and it's sharp and they call it a beak, just like a rooster or a chicken. Octopuses have a beak. This is an octopus. Our next animal is the turtle. This is a turtle. Pronunciation, use the er sound like burger. Tur, tur. And the T makes a fast D. Turd, turd. And the L-E makes a sound O, like table and little. Let's link the sounds. Turtle, turtle. And we have a dark L at the end. O, O. Tense the tongue. Turtle, turtle. This is a turtle. And what do you call this part of the turtle? This is called a turtle shell. That's right, shell, just like eggshells and seashells. This is a turtle shell. Pronunciation, use the soft sh, sh sound, like she and fish, sh, sh, shell. This is a turtle shell. Why does a turtle need a turtle shell? I don't know if they need one, they just always have one, that's why they're turtles. Turtles have shells for protection. And we have this animal. This is an alligator or is this a crocodile? I don't know because I'm not a zoologist. Let's practice both words. Maybe this is an alligator or maybe this is a crocodile. Pronunciation, crocodile. Crocodile, pronunciation, cro, croc. Use the open sound ah uh, like hot and stop, croc. The second vowel is uh like cup and up, croca. Croca. And the third vowel is I, like high and like. Dial. This is a crocodile. Or maybe it's an alligator. I'm not sure. What do you think? Is this a crocodile or an alligator? How do you pronounce alligator? Alligator. Use the short a, ah, like black cat. A, ah, a, ah, al. Alligator. Alligator. The T is a fast D. Gator, gator. Alligator. So tell me, is this an alligator or a crocodile? Leave your answers in the comments. Let me know, what is this? It's gotta be an alligator or a crocodile, but I don't know which one. Let's see what else we have here. We have a snake. This is a snake. I can't see his teeth, but usually they have teeth here, right? Teeth like that, and the teeth are called fangs. But this snake doesn't have fangs. I don't know what happened, but usually snakes have fangs. That's what you call the long teeth right here. 
fangs. When you see A-N-G, make the long A like say and pay. Fang, fangs. Snakes usually have fangs, but this one doesn't. This is a friendly snake. Now, this snake, this snake does not have legs. This snake does not have arms. So how does it move? It doesn't walk, it doesn't crawl, it slithers. That's the verb we use when we describe how the snake moves. The snake slithers. How do you pronounce it? Use the short I like this is for the first vowel. Slit, slit, slither. The TH makes a voice sound like this and that. Slith, slither. Slither is a verb, so I slither? No, I don't slither. The snake slithers. Add the S. Or if I say snakes more than one, snakes slither. That's how they move. That's the verb we use. And what do snakes do? Do they bite or do they sting? Snakes bite. Remember, in English, we use bite when they use their mouth. Snakes bite. Mosquitoes bite. Bees sting because they use their tail. If an animal uses their tail, that's sting. So bees sting and scorpions sting because they use their tail. If they use their mouth, we say bite. Snakes bite. But not this one, he doesn't have fangs. He's friendly. Let's see what else we have. We also have this insect. This is a caterpillar. Now you can say, well, pronunciation, shouldn't it be caterpillar? Because there's an R there. Well, usually we don't pronounce that R. We say cata, caterpillar. And the T changes to a fast D. Cata, caterpillar. This is a caterpillar. Well, can I say caterpillar? Sure, some people say caterpillar and pronounce the er, but I usually hear caterpillar. Caterpillar. This is a friendly caterpillar. I think he's sleeping. So let's hear some examples of people saying caterpillar. It starts as a caterpillar. With eyes of blue and lips full red and round. But the butterfly didn't make a sound, for he had turned into a caterpillar. You'll be finding the hill 60 in caterpillar mines. McBride. Did the ant kill the caterpillar? The secretions a caterpillar uses to protect itself during the incubation period act as a non-toxic antiviral for humans. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, look at this animal. This is a lion. That's right. Pronunciation, lion. The first vowel is the long I, like high and like, lie. When we link to the second vowel, which is uh, like cup and up, Lie, lie, lion. We have a sound in the middle that links the sounds. Ye, ye, like yellow in yesterday. Lie, lion. This is a lion. But remember, lion is the name of the animal. It's not the astrological sign. The astrological sign is Leo. I'm not a Leo, I'm a Cancer. But Leo is the astrological sign, not the animal. This is a lion or someone's name. For example, Leo Tolstoy. His name is Leo Tolstoy, not Lion Tolstoy. It's Leo, that's a person's name. Now let's talk about the lion. This is a lion and he has hair, but we don't usually call it hair because it has a special hair that goes around a circle around his head. This is called a mane. A lion has a mane, like Main Street or the main idea. It's the same pronunciation, but it's spelled differently. This is a lion's mane. And also lions make noise. They don't bark like a dog, they roar. Roar, lions roar. Like that. How do you pronounce roar? Roar. Use the sound or like door and floor. But start with the R sound. R -r -r -r. Together, roar. Lions roar. Lions love to roar. That's how they talk. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.